Uh oh. Another. Wait. Oh snap! That might be a keeper trail. What a nice fit. That's a keeper trail on the flats. Nice fish. Nice fish. That DOA, man, they can't resist them some DOA, them trout. That's a gorgeous fish. What's going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. So, hey, speckled trout. That's today's topic of discussion. Now, I would classify speckled trout as more of a beginner or an easier fish to target. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they're always simple to catch, especially when you're trying to find larger fish. Now, in this episode, that's what we're gonna be discussing. I have a few primary lures that we're gonna have you use, and I promise you, if you do use them, you're gonna increase your odds and you're gonna catch larger fish. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the down south lures. I flew over to Texas probably five years ago, and I was introduced to the down south lure, and I'll tell you what, ever since I brought them back, I've increased my catch ratio at least threefold, especially when it comes to trout and redfish, on artificial that is. So I highly recommend you check them out. What we're doing here, what I'm gonna recommend first is a one eighth or a quarter ounce. You really wanna get away with the lightest weight possible if you can. Now, I love mission fishing. I love the Berkeley jig heads. Obviously, that is your choice. Whatever works for you, as long as it's got the weight and the reason I love those is because they use a high quality hook with a nice gap and it works well with artificial lures, especially swimming style lures. But where down south really um, sets itself apart is it's soft plastics, this long tail with this little paddle, it looks a little awkward, it looks off, but in the water, it really throws off some vibration. It's very effective and the fish just they can't resist it. Now you can do this and you can use this lure in a few different ways. You can cast it out, allow it to sink, and then you can vary the retrieve. So pop it, reel, let it sink, pop it, reel, let it sink. That's one of my favorite methods. And I've noticed that a lot of times those trout will consume this lure as it starts to descend down near the grass. Um, or what you could do if you see something hitting the surface or, or things like that, you can cast beyond that those fish and then you can do a steady retrieve and that tail action will do the work for you. You don't have to do anything but reel and you'll oftentimes get that explosive stripe. Now, some of the colors that I highly recommend is that bone white. Uh, they have a color that's called tequila. It's a very, very effective color and it works really, really well for them uh, redfish. So check them out. I'll leave their information right here down in the description below. But if you haven't used them and if you don't know about them, you do now. So there's really no excuse not to give them a try. And they're not very expensive like a lot of the other products on the market. So plus you're supporting a small business and I like all of those things. Now, we're gonna move on to the very next lure that you've heard me talk about probably many, many times if you've been following me for any length of time. Now, this is the Hedden. So they have a few different ones. This is the Hedden uh, Super Spook and Bone, and this is the Junior. So it's the smaller version. Now, Hedden has been around for way longer than I have, but I'll tell you, I've been using them effectively for the last 15 years and they increase the odds. It's the walk the dog movement that really entices the stripe, especially on low light conditions. Early morning, late evening, you walk that dog, you get that little rattle, it looks like a wounded little mullet, and they cannot resist it. But that is the, the lures that I would recommend. Now there's many, many others. The DOA shrimp, you know, I've told you guys this countless, countless times. But the DOA shrimp is a very, very effective lure for speckled trout. So those are the three lures, guys, that I would highly recommend that you check out. And they're three different style lures. You have your swimming fish type lure, you have your top water hard lure, and then you have your soft shrimp, which works that mid column very, very well, has a built-in weight, and again, it's very effective for speckled trout. Now that is, the how and the lure now where 
is the question of where are you going to go and, and look for these fish. Now in Tampa Bay, we have a lot of beautiful grass flats and estuaries that you know, surround the whole bay. Now what I would do is typically look for a healthy grass flat with that water in between three to five feet. And what I find is if there is a um, deeper body of water, whether it be a channel or something that uh, lines the edge of that flat, I find that I'm very uh, successful using that information. I, I imagine they use that deep water channel as a little highway to move along to their next feeding location uh, or wherever they're you know going. So that is one thing that you can use is look for a nice flat, healthy flat with a deeper source of water. And the other thing is potholes. If you see a, a flat that's riddled with sandy potholes, this is a great indicator that there's probably gonna be speckled trout. And the thing is, speckled trout are probably on every single flat in the bay in that three to five foot range. But you wanna to try to find the larger fish. And sometimes you gotta work and weed through the smaller fish, as you can see in these clips. Uh, we probably caught, I don't know, 50 to 75 trout. And then that's the thing, in the bay, typically you're gonna catch, you know, 20 small trout to that one large trout. So unfortunately, that's just the way that's gonna work. But regardless, if you wanna get a kid fishing, you wanna get your wife fishing or your girlfriend and get them hooked, the speckled trout is always a great beginner fish to really get them going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content or this video. If you wanna know more information on how and where to target speckled trout, if you want me to dive more in depth to those things, let me know below, comment below, and maybe I'll go in even more depth, but check out these lures. This is not a plug, guys. None of these guys are paying me to tell you this. These are my personal preference. And again, I, I should mention that when you're using these artificials, you want a nice limber rod. You want something that's at that, that gives you a long cast, seven foot six to eight foot, or even that seven foot. I like a medium fast rod. Um, so it's going to have a nice parabolic action. It's going to have a good bend, a good cast, 10 pound test, power pro, small diameter. It's going to allow you to really get the distance that you need. And then make sure you go light guys. I like 15 to 20 pound tests, Spro or, um, soft steel leader, and this is fluorocarbon. And this is going to allow you to, to really fan. So when I approach a flat, I'll, I'll do what they call fan cast. I'll start here and I'll just work myself either clockwise or vice versa. And I'll just fan that area, making 75 yard cast and covering lots and lots of ground. So these are the techniques that will really allow you to be successful. This is a little Akuma 2500 ITX, very small and lightweight reel. When you're throwing artificial, you don't want to be wearing down these outfits will allow you to do that. So make sure you get you a nice light setup, get you a couple of these lures, go find a flat. You can use Google Earth, you can use the maps, you can do use uh, even a Garmin or whatever. It'll show you these little areas that I'm referring to and these bowls. So go out there, explore, throw these lures, and catch more fish. Hey guys, until next time, I'll see you on the water. Oh! It's a little poon. No matter what, it never get never gets tiring catching them though. They're fun. Oh, thank you, sir. That works.